Hi, my name is Matt. I'm going to tell you about my 2002 Sea Ray 260 Sundancer. I bought the boat new back in March of 03, and it's been a freshwater boat. Spent most of its life on Lake Wall and Paul Pack, a freshwater lake in the northeast of Pennsylvania. Beautiful lake. Really had good luck with the boat. Here's the trailer. We tow it. It's a load right, dual axle with surge brakes, so there's no electric brakes or hookups necessary. Hook it up and go. Boat trailer is really nice. Doesn't require any special permits. Here's a look at the capacity plate showing you can carry 10 people or 1,800 pounds, any combination therein. The powertrain is a 6.2 Merc with a Bravo 3 dual stainless steel prop. Has a lot of bite. Great for docking, tubing, 216 hours in the motor. There will be a few more because the boat still is in use on the weekends. Not a lot though, a few hours a week. Here's the Erie Canal that we did. I'm approaching the low side of the lock. The canal is a river. So they open the one, the lower gate, you pull in, water's about halfway down that gate you're looking at there. They close the gate, open some valves up, flood it, the boat rises, they open the top gate, and away you go. And they go down, you reverse it, open the gate, pull in, they drain the lock, and then open the lower gate. You can run the boat in the rain, here's the uh, camper top, Isenglass with the windshield wiper going. The boat stays nice and dry even in rotten weather, because sometimes you still have to go. Here's a great scene. There's my two girls up in the bow watching, enjoying the scenery as it goes by. My son Matt is captaining, captaining the boat. It's a very easy boat to run. Great visibility. Here's a look at my girls in the aft cabin, watching a little movie before they go to bed. We call the cabin a coffin. You could sit up in the forward part, but it does get a little tight in the bottom. Heat AC reverse cycle with a CO2 detector. You need your 30 f shore power hooked up to run this, but it cools and heats the boat beautifully. There's a great look at the interior, very bright and light airy. You have uh, three portholes, one large hatch which also serves as your escape hatch. The premium decor, here's the table deployed, it's a high-low table. High setup for meals, low if you need to, uh, for to set up the forward berth, the bunk. Nice and wide. Here's a convenience station right behind the uh, captain's seat. There's a nice sink, pull out a uh, hose sink, and a 24 quart igloo cooler that tucks away nice and neat. Here's a look at the decor. It was called the Piazza from Sea Ray. It has a nice uh, squiggle pattern. They kind of look like music notes. The interior is in great shape. Here's a look at the port on the left side showing the uh, front speaker. It's an AM FM 6, 6 disc CD changer. Also an accent lighting that runs off DC power. There's the starboard side. You can see it's a cream colored, it's a vinyl, so is the headliner. Vinyl, it's very washable, uh, doesn't uh, retain any moisture or odors. The boat smells great. Here's the steps leading down to the cabin. So it uses every available inch for storage or for dedicated purpose, and this is no exception. The top step conceals a garbage can. Beneath the garbage can is the sump pump where the shower water collects and also any condensation from the uh, AC unit. Collects in the sump and gets pumped overboard. Here's a look at the aft berth, the rear berth uh, in the mirror. And that long stem is the stern light that tucks away. The Seabury can really handle some rough water. Here I am crossing Haverstraw Bay and the wind is literally curving my wake over. Uh, we were running the boat through four foot waves and serious wind. Garmin 182 color chart plotter has northeast uh, charts, Chesapeake, and also St. Lawrence River that'll come with the boat. Here's your Raymarine uh, VHF radio. Flips between 916 and also serves as your hailer. Great little device. The engine bay is spotless and meticulous. Every spring it was scrubbed, degreased, kept clean so you can detect any leaks, which uh, we've never had. Dealer maintained. There's the two new batteries I installed in 2008 with the battery charger. Uh, eight gallon hot water heater to the right there. You can see the hose running to and from it with the red and the blue hoses. Here's your battery selector. Uh, I have it set to both now. You can run both batteries for starting, or if you're at anchor, you can turn it to one and keep number two on reserve. So look at the bow. There's where the Garmin antenna is mounted. Perfect spot. It's low, out of the way, and protected. Here's a good look at the uh, anchor pulpit. Beautiful chrome. This is a ramp on Spa Creek down in Annapolis, Maryland. Another spot I took the boat. Launched the boat and headed out Spa Creek. This is Spa Creek. Beautiful flat water. 
gorgeous settings, beautiful homes and properties. You can see so much. Here's the Annapolis Marriott Hotel. Behind it is the Naval Academy, United States Naval Academy. And to the, right behind the hotel on the left side there is the Eagle Alley, famous Eagle Alley. A lot of expensive and rich people run their boats down there to show off. Here's my brothers hanging out in the boat, showing you the comfort and convenience. You can park next to a 140 foot mega yacht. And here we am anchored off of uh, Battery Park. Uh, days back, you would see the Twin Towers rising up. Fortunately, they're gone. We anchored out there, uh, my brother and I anchored out uh, my Sea Ray in a 29 foot and spent the night. Beautiful sunset, and we were awoke to a beautiful sunrise. I oversized the anchor, so the boat is very stable at anchor. My anchor hold, held both boats. And here we are departing. It's called, it was called Horseshoe Bay in Rockaway. And we're getting ready to head back up the Hudson River. I think there's four of us on the boat now. About a three-hour ride up the Hudson. I came in and went out at Newburgh, New York. Came back to Pennsylvania by trailer. The boat's very good on gas. We've got all the books. These are the accessory books for the microwave, VCR, refrigerator, uh, battery charger, the head, anchor locker is very deep. I have 25 feet of chain and 150 feet of half inch nylon anchor rope so you can anchor in rather deep water if need be. There's a look at the vacuum flush head and the frosted port for privacy. It also uh, encompasses a shower. There's a curtain that slides across. Teak flooring. These are the owner's books for the boat itself and the engines. And complete with wiring diagrams and maintenance uh, schedules important stuff that you'll use. This is the uh, briefcase that you can tuck everything in. I keep my insurance papers in there, all my owner's books, and a few white tools. These manuals come in handy for maintenance and just normal checkups so you know what to check and when, uh, what kind of fluids to use and everything, um, service points. It's a great platform. Here we are in Canoe Point in, uh, on the St. Lawrence River. Uh, hull shines beautifully. It's got a nice solid stainless steel rub rail around the side, six eight inch cleats, six bumpers again I oversized the bumpers just for added protection integrated swim platform uh, with a folding step ladder hope you enjoyed it give me a buzz I've already found my new boat and I'd love to sell you mine thanks